Okay, they're called masks. These things are totally not Star Wars. Totally not. So up here we have uh What the it's cool. This is this is Cloud City, down. that's Boba Fett's ship. Look at you can look it has a handle right there, so you can hold it and fly um, it through the air. There. Go ahead, you can And look, if it, it has the this thing, look, it can move. Boba Fett's flying in there, but it moves him up into the window, and you can see him through the window. Yeah, and here's the handle, so you can hold it, because so, he flies like this. Yeah, he's got some little cannons there. Almost every ship. And then you know what goes in the back of that? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you gotta put it in. When he got in frozen. There. When he got frozen, I put it in there. But I, I have Jabba's palace I up here. I, he got frozen in the second one, and it shows when he's already frozen at, oh. in the third. Yep, he, he gets rescued by... Yeah. His he gets him frozen. So yeah, we can hang this back this up. This is giant. Dude, that is the biggest, one of the biggest Star Wars toys. Let's pull it out, I'll show you. It actually has a handle too. These parts easily fall off, so why don't we put those up? And then you've got these little landings. Oh uh, yeah. Let's put them. And then you can kind of carry it with this. Here, look. Go ahead. Yeah, I will. That's how you hold it. Yeah, you can put those up. So you know, stuff falls off here. Oh, how does but this the, has this has all most of the original pieces. So take it. Uh, there? Oh, you want them back? You landed. Oh, this ah. is probably my favorite Star Wars story. Oh, how do you the get the Millennium Falcon? Oh, I'm trying to get this out. Okay, it sticks, right? So yeah, it's got a satellite dish. And this little gun turret thing. And then look, it's got the little chessboard where they played and they had the holographic little animals fighting. What's this? That's the, that goes down so you can, remember when they walk out and they're oh, on yeah, that planet? Oh yeah, it's like a ramp. So uh, how do you put it is, back up? It, it kinda is tricky, you know? There we go. What are these? Those are just to hold it open. It's critical to understand how revenue, expenses, and savings impact your account. Oh, it moves from down here. Yeah, so this is a little chair that you can sit in, but you know, it falls off. A lot of the stuff, you know, when you're a kid, those parts fell off and you lost them. Wait, was there a roof that came on here? Yeah, it's right here. Oh. So that is so fresh. What do you think? How do you put it back on? Yeah, it doesn't, it just kind of clicks on there. But yeah, then you can still... Still got the stickers on the back. Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy, I know. Yeah. How does this come back? That goes on the this part. Oh. So you can stick uh, Chewbacca and Han Solo yeah, in there if you want. Like here, take a Han Solo. Put a Han Solo in the front. That's that's important. And then. Uh, How does he even go inside? You gotta kind of like make his legs flat like that, and then stuff him in there. You get him oh. in there. So. I didn't see that in there. You know, and they're flying around. Maybe you need to get a uh, Princess Leia hanging out in the back there because she rode on the. Oh yeah, we got Luke. There's Luke right here. How do you even smack this? That thing, you know, it's it's 
it's really old, so it doesn't snap on that one. There we go. You just gotta kind of leave it open like that. Or you can leave it open, you know, so you can see the guys. <laughs> this is uh the thing about these a lot of these toys, man, they are so old that they're just kind of very fragile when they fall apart. So some some of the things don't work. So it's Len Davis with Pangeli Productions. I'm a filmmaker based in Seattle, Washington, and we're here in the Funk Dungeon over at Funk Scribes Place with the ultimate collection here. Tell me a little bit about your collection here. Oh, you know, there's a few things here. We got uh we got the Dago Ba playset here and 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 R2-D2 fell in the swamp. And then I put uh, Yoda on Obi-Wan's back up there. And here, you got the levitating stick. Look at this. Nice, oh, look at that, oh, Zoom. Oh, 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 and then, and then you push the rocket. Oh, he levitated the box, but then, oh! He wasn't concentrating on the force. Yeah, so down here we have the Hoth Imperial base set. With, uh, here's a Tauntaun. Oh, Tauntaun. Ooh, so remember that scene where he lightsabered his chest open? And, and put, all the guts came out? You put Han Solo in the... In, in the, the warm the, body out in the uh, desert? This is the oh, cloud car, remember this one? Yeah, hold that one, that one's fun to play with. You can just hold it in, in the middle. Do these come back in? Yep. Nice, what else you got here? The slave one, Boba Fett shape, you can see Boba through there. With this, like a vertical orientation? Because that's how it flies. You watch the goes. You know, he flies up, that's why he's kind of standing up in the thing. Pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty different. Hook. And uh, this is a, a faithful reproduction of the Jabba dungeon. You got all the Jabba people, you got Lando in the skiff outfit with the mask. Salacious B. Crumb. That's the character's name? Yeah, Salacious B. Crumb. My girlfriend made this cloak out of cool fabric. The, the original one came brown, but it was actually should have been black, so it's pretty cool. She did a good job. Nice. Uh, these are all the guards in Jabba's dungeon. We got the Max Rebo band. Huh? And the, the Jabba dungeon. Gone? You know what? The thing about these things is that they just come off, dude. You gotta be really careful. There you go. And then these are all bad guys and all the bounty hunters. And then this is Han Solo. He shot Greedo first. Do you love the oh. Emperor? I got the Emperor right here. This is one of my favorite figures, actually. He's got a cane. He's really scary looking. Do you have any other versions? No, there's just one. But you know what? You can't have the emperor without the emperor royal guard. Yeah. <laughs> one of the coolest figures. That yeah. red is the royal guard? Yeah, the royal. He usually had two of them by his side all times. Emmy, Daddy, Emmy Lando has lots of Lego ones of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What about this, dude? You need to have an R2-D2 with the, the scope that comes out. Uh-huh. Remember that scope thing, like what he uses to open the door on that uh, entrance in the forest with the Ewoks? Oh, it comes out. Well, can you give me some R2-D2 language there? <laughs> nice. It's like a tropical bird in the jungle, Zuli, but it's really a digital droid voice. These are all from the original Star Wars. You got a Jawa, Dubak, a Sand Raider, got uh, Luke and Obi-Wan in the... In the the speeder here and you got this is the cantina spot and you got Han he shot Greedo these are all the bad guys here Death Star droid um, and of course you know your Bosk Dangar all the uh, all the original bounty hunters and then back here I, I got snuck in my my Ridley and alien figures that I got it's the only non Star Wars how do you get this yeah, dude, that, see, the thing about these and toys is they, you gotta set them up. So this one has a, has a cool fake wall. Look at this. So it has a wall here, and then you, got, you gotta be careful with it because it, you, you can explode it, and I'll show you how. You wanna explode it. It's built to be blowed up. So you're like, you're the Imperial Guard here, right? You're the bad guys, 
And then you're right here, right? You're not, I don't know what a, what a cloud racer is doing up here, man. That, we're gonna put that on. Hey, so don't touch it just yet, because you have, uh, you know, let's say you have your, your good guys here. They're, they're, coming, they're coming through. They're coming by to take over the bad guys there. So you gotta set them up. And here, we have a few, if you press this button over here, press that button. The white part. Oh, see it exploded and this one too you can you can put someone standing here and you're like hey what's going on I'm enjoying a good day here on the ice planet let's have a slurpee and then ah and then he falls off oh, okay. and then this one has a, a bridge here can you do it a little bit stronger well you know these are some old toys my friend they don't quite hold up to... Oh, no. Hey, this one too, look, you can use that switch there and this whole ice bridge falls down. Uh -huh. Yeah, turn. So, oh. so usually it's just you here late at night playing with these by yourself and this is the fulfillment of your fantasy to have a five-year-old up in here? No, I don't think so. That's, that's a little extreme. Uh, you know, I think it's just a, a mix of nostalgia and, and you know, these are, these are three-dimensional toys that that uh ex you know the the looks on people's faces when they come well, down here not kids is amazing because people just freak out because it is something that is a pivotal part of them growing up and they maybe haven't seen it in a long time or right. the characters are so familiar even if they're not yeah and people like you know like squid head who's one of the coolest figures he's, okay, bring him the he's got all this stuff here just but he's you know he doesn't even have a, a, a speaking role mm -hmm. he's actually jabba's accountant <laughs> yeah, he's the bookkeeper, which is funny. Uh, but yeah, so you have these iconic characters that didn't even have speaking lines. Really bizarre, but... Nice. Um, and where are you getting most of these figures? Online. I wish I had a, a an old box, you know, of all my old toys, but I didn't have this cool of a collection. Mm -hmm. A lot of them probably chewed off the... The weapons, you know, are pretty valuable. I didn't have... I probably wouldn't have had any of the weapons. But yeah, Jabba's really cool. Look, he moves. He moves. You got. You can take him off here. So, so Princess Leia with the chain? No, they they wouldn't put Princess Leia in chains because they just respected her too much. They said we can't make a figure and have you in chains. That's not very nice. Of course, Hasbro came out with one like 20 years later. But... With her in chains. Look, look at this, dude. Look. <laughs> 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 So, do you, when you like go online, you're looking for like a specific character, and you're trying to find it, or you go and sort of see what's out there and think, I, oh, I don't have that. And I got a couple uh, lots of giant collections of figures that I didn't know. It was just a whole lot of assortment. You can get those pretty cheap. Hey, where someone sells. Yeah, it's like, you know, 62 Star Wars figures or something. And then it'd be nice. a lot of doubles, you know. I got a lot of these Death Star Imperial Guards here. Um, but, you know, it that was a chance to just kind of acquire most of the main figures. Except for the final 17, which came out a couple years after Return of the Jedi. And they're super rare. And uh, like Luke with the Stormtrooper outfit and a bunch of other characters you probably wouldn't know. but That they, you don't have? Yeah, they, all these figures are like $100 each. Hey. So, and then, you know, I, I just kind of like, oh, I really want to get a Dagobah system. And then uh, we made some, some swamp here because the swamp foam is deteriorated after nice. what you, you know, brought in 40 the... years. Yeah, my, my girlfriend made this. How do this? Guy, how do guys come on here? Yeah, they don't really sit on the scooter too well, buddy. Hey, Zoo, what do you think about this collection? Pretty fresh, huh? Oh yeah. He's mildly impressed. Yeah. Ooh, look, C3PO in parts, Zoo. He's falling apart here. You can actually put them back together. Do you want to put them back together? Ah. Uh. That was one of my favorite figures that I had back in the day. And I had the C3PO? backpack that came with with him to put on Chewie's back. Oh, that's the what he carries him into? Yeah. You see that? And you can fit most of them in there. But he's still cool to have if you put them together, too. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. Jabba's pipe fell down. Oh. 
yeah, I want to build have a Java here, and then under here have the Rancor monster, and then the, the hole here, and you drop him down, and then, you know, you got the the Rancor keeper. Where is he at? Here he is. You he know, down like, there. Uh, He'll be crying. He'll be like, oh, "What did you do?" Looks like King Kong Bundy or something. Yeah. yeah. George the Animal Steel, rest in peace. All right, <laughs> George. He went down this next. week. Hey, careful with that big one, Zoo. Yeah, what do you think, dude? If you, uh, if you don't want to play with one, you can. Uh, oh, the this one has a lot of pieces. If you don't, if you don't want to play them, just put them back up here so we don't so we don't step on them. Sweet. But this is uh, this Dagobah system has stuff that'll fall out because it's. You can just play with it right here, though. Bird. Well, it's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions here in Seattle, Washington. We're in the Funk Dungeon with my man Funk Scribe. At other times, we may be laying down some uh, old school funky synthesizer love, but at the moment, we happen to be introducing your outrageous collection to my son. He's five and three quarters. We recently begun watching Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi that we got on. And the first on pirated DVDs in Mexico a couple weeks ago. You're forgetting the first one. Which one? The first one. Star Wars A New Hope. Hey. And uh, we've been invited over here a while back Here's and this is just here. finally making it happen to come tap into this madness. Oh, you want Luke to drive it? Luke and Han. Word. Thanks so much for sharing this with us. You've even got your shirt on? Ah, uh, yeah, you know. Word. We yeah. had the music going, but... Nice. Don't want to go too over the top. Yeah, that would be a little too much. These are the best pin guards here. Erg. They they work with that ship. All right. Thanks so much for sharing Thank this with know. us, dude. Right up. <laughs>